Howdy y'all, Moax Lives. I think it's time to play a little... Starfield. Alright, my plan for today is to get out to that secret base and check it out. Uh, I'm gonna fly solo. So no... no companions currently. Um... Just have to find out. What? Check out your ship's inventory. What's in my ship's inventory? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Oh, is it these? The aluminum and the sealant that I need for that thing? Yeah, okay. That's that's fine. That's not my issue here. My issue is What's the, what's the quest? Uh... What's the quest for this one right here? This is what I want. Okay. Oh, I can't do that. It is locked out. Unexplored route. Oh, well, it just says unexplored route. Clear route. I mean, that just means I have to go to, like, Olympus first, right? Okay. And then... Yeah, see, now I can jump to Vol 3. Or Nisoy. Or Matt Nisoy. Oh. 
I don't know why you did that. Weird, I wonder why I had to do it manually like that. That's weird. I mean, I know it's done it to me before. You've entered free star collective space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Yeah, that's fine. I'm I'm not Oh, this is a uh, Neon, that's the headquarters for Right? I believe Neon is the headquarters for one of their big cities. Okay. And then we go want to go here. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. I don't want to land, I'm just clearing the route. You know, I didn't even check the the level. plans. Okay. What if I dock instead and check it out? It's clearly human. It is. You're human. Uh. It's just that we weren't expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Oh, wow. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. <laughs> and this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. You've come aboard the Earth colony ship Constant. Generations ago, we set forth from Ooh, the planet a generational Earth, ship. Of colonizing a new habitable world in the spirit of our ancestors nearly a millennium ago. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by, well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and the others. Okay, we're gonna have to hope that modern medicine is able to save these people because I've just killed them. Um... We're not entirely sure. 
Our engineers believe it's possible that our technology just isn't compatible with theirs. All we hear when using them to communicate with anyone is a bunch of disturbing noise. They gave me the heebie-jeebies at first. Of course, we know that now. Human or not, we were still unable to communicate our intentions. As soon as we discovered them, we fully expected negotiations would be necessary. Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Okay. Dr. DeCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I've We've got strict rules vigilant. around here, but they're Security strict for a reason. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow Just it if you insist. Just stay out of trouble. <laughs> Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. Just because so, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. I've never seen a ship like yours before. But then again, I haven't seen any ships before you arrived. So, here we are. Let's talk. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Yep. We know there's a settlement on the planet below, meaning people were here before us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assumed that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Uh. Based on the data our ancestors had when they launched this endeavor, it was determined that this was the perfect planet for us. Even if we had another viable candidate planet, we lack the resources to get there. And as you know, it took us 200 years to get here. Our people have no desire to go back to drifting the stars so their children's children can possibly settle on an inferior planet. Oof. Yes, yes, of course. But we need to start from a firm position and state our goal. And what's your goal? If need be, we can compromise work out a mutually beneficial <laughs> deal or some such but initially i'd like you to be firm with them and convince them to leave the planet to us oh wow yeah that's Let not happening how they respond and we'll go from there we thought about it but it simply won't do i need to think about the distant future of our people sure our first settlement may be small but our predecessors dreamt of our new civilization spreading across the globe. That will be difficult if someone else plans to do the same. While we're not completely close to the idea of sharing, it's much easier if we have complete domain over this world. Is there something weird about your civilization? Now, now. It makes little sense to give up before you try. Thank you, and good luck. Wow. Oh, nope, nope, sorry. Sorry. Did 
these people are crazy. They also have a lot of guards. Did I... Did I wave my fancy gun around? Sarah, is that you? <laughs> the constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. I'm not changing anything. I'm just oh, got some ceiling. I'm just looking for information. Now that we know what's out there, things are going to You have no idea. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. They've only been gone 200 years. What's up with all these people? Yep. Listen, I don't I don't need you all seeing me trying to uh His ambitions seem a bit too lofty, it says. Okay, let's see what's in this. Oh, it requires a key. Well dang it, I didn't get a key. A lot of your tech seems very familiar. I don't know, but he deserves whatever he gets. Do you know how many times he saved the lives of everyone on board? No matter what the future holds, I think I'll always be more comfortable in space. So many guards. We always grow Careful waving that fancy gun around. You don't need to see what it can do. It, it's my gun out? The constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change it. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. I just look around a little bit, okay? Come on. You're so peaceful. the kids. Uh, I don't know how I got here. I don't know how to get home. Just saying. Just because our equipment's old, I, I, I didn't pay attention when I followed. Okay, I think I remember that. Boy, I'm not glad you weren't some sort of alien or something. Not an alien. Buddy. I have a million burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Please, indulge me just a couple. Sure. How did you do it? 
Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Ah, I knew it. It's, it's incredible. I read about this technology in our archives from Earth, but it was only theoretical back then. Amazing! I'll have to learn more. <laughs> oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi. But you can call me Ami. And, I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. So I heard. Yes, of course. Anything for my new friend. Uh, let's see. So long. You didn't have anything I wanted to know. Hi. I feel like this is just a... Big ploy to control everybody. There's so much more to learn about now. How do I get out of here? I vaguely remember passing that, right? I don't see a path down from here. Oh, you know what? You're complaining about my, my scanner now, too? Oh, yeah, I guess I did see this, uh, stairs earlier. What if I do? Uh, just put me in the cockpit. And then... I need to go here. not my secret base but you know generational ships are fun ideas uh oh i guess i should quest this up first contact incidents in a while. Let's hope it stays that way. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern or is there something else I can help you with? Didn't you tell me to come talk to you? Something I can help you with? Oh, yes. Let's get right to it then. As you can imagine, we've got a predicament on our hands. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. Okay. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else? Unless explicitly directed to do so? Uh, yes. Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. Oh. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. Right. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. I know. I know. I see. Well, if you're speaking on their behalf, I'll refer you right along to the chairman of the Paradiso Group's board, Oliver Campbell. All formal decisions will go through him, not me. I'll let him know you're on your way. 
Well, that was easy enough. Okay. Uh. Okay. I swear. I come into these buildings and I'm like, yep, yep, yep. And then as soon as I turn around, I'm like, I don't recognize any of this. Okay, this is not deeper in this tiny building. It's in a different building. I'm just glad I don't work on the luxury cruisers that bring people here. I'm sorry, when I scanned this planet for resources, did I not say this place was in the middle of chlorine? Nobody's coming here for... I'm gonna have to... Was this like some kind of... I was worried about my beach body until I spoke with that lady at Enhance here. Weird. It's a... <laughs> it's a vacation spot. Excuse me, you can't just waltz well, in there. Do you have an appointment? I do. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Uh. <laughs> what I could tell you would get me in a lot of trouble. Most of them are typical C level execs. I doubt you even need to use your imagination for that. The ones that show up to work day to day, at least. I swear, I've never even met some of them because they chill at their own private secluded beach homes all the time. Anyway, be smart around Oliver. He's got a way of getting what he wants without you realizing it. And that's all I'll say. Sure, have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. Okay. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this place. You're lucky I'm not None like the other board members. Blazing about the beaches without a care in the universe. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Mm. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort you like that the marketing team came up with it the thought is if we can't get rid of them it might actually attract more tourism come see the aliens <laughs> <laughs> wow okay ah you're appearing direct then yeah good on you a little bit so what do you know about this dodgy ship i'm hearing all about uh, all right, let's see. It's a generational ship full of colonists from Earth. It's a rickety old Earth ship full of up colonists who think they own your planet. <laughs> uh, old Earth colonists desperate to settle after 200 years. Uh, what would you say if I told you it really was an alien mothership here to destroy the planet? Okay. Uh, it's a generational oh, ship. That's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. No. Now, tell me. What are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grav drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. <laughs> anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do.
Um. We own this planet. They don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that <laughs> might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No. Much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. Um... And that's within your right. But as the CEO of Paradiso Group, I'm the one who has to make an approved decision around here, not you. So, as much as I appreciate your feedback, it's not in the best interest of the Paradiso Group to take it into account. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. Yeah, I definitely think the grav drive is probably... Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grav drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. <laughs> there are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. Oof. Both groups are crazy. Both groups. It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble from time to time. Okay, um... Don't worry about us. We're just here to keep the fun. I'm not worried about you. Oh, I think I'm just running to my ship. Welcome back. Mr. Tofik, I am aware that this is your eighth visit to our resort. Hey, uh, let's see here. Sell from Frontier. Uh, spacesuit. Nope. Uh, packs? Nope. Helmets? Nope. Was it weapons? Nope. I feel like I was gonna sell something and then I didn't have enough space to sell. Or was I trying to sell from my inventory? Okay, I can't. I can't do it like that. Axe. Helmets. That's what it was. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm going to do, though. I want to... I want to jump here just to get it on my map. Okay. I'm not, I'm not coming to your farm, buddy. I'm sorry. Oof, that is a very blue star. I need to go here. Why can't I? Out of fuel range, okay.
This is a level 30 zone that I've gone to. That's kind of scary. I'll see what he wants while I'm here. Since I've got to make some short jumps anyways. Uh... Oh, it's all Helium 3. I hope it's not a level 30 Terramorph. I'm on fire. I'm not afraid to use this to defend my home and my family. You called me. I'm... You sure as hell don't look like any spacer I've seen before. How would you know? So let me get this straight. You heard a distress call and you flew all the way down here. Yes. What are you, some sort of priest or good Samaritan? I didn't know people like you were real. Maybe a good Samaritan. I got a heap load of problems. And I'm willing to pay my share for the help. I don't know what game you're playing, but I guess I'm in. What's the problem? There used to be four families that List helped set up stakes in this system. I don't know who List is. We rarely saw eye to eye in the best of times. And believe me, true, these ain't the best of times. Spacer started raiding and it's been getting worse. Only a matter of time before they end us all. Unless you're willing to help some hard-working, pig-headed settlers out. No arguments here. The Spacers have taken out the family's list satellites. So we can't even talk to each other. Isolate and eliminate a classic tale. You fix the Lopez satellite, and I'll open a secure channel, and we can sync up and get the lay of the land. And then get all of our satellites operational. Okay. It might be I'm getting caught up in the moment, but I actually feel <laughs> optimistic for once. Thanks. Right up until I fly away and you die. Oh, no. I'm gonna die. Ooh. The guy's level 30. Yeah. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> oh man. That's a level 30 ship. I should have just flown away. Interesting. Interesting. Um.
Listen, guy. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. I uh. <laughs> we just Welcome to the Free Star Collective. <sighs> Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. Okay, so I jumped out of there. All right, all right. So we're good. We're good. Uh, can I get here? Yeah, so I'm not going to the end. I just stopped here because they told me I couldn't jump all the way to the planet I wanted to go to. So there might be a slight problem with that secret base I wanted to go to. Just a slight level 30 of the system base. Uh, okay. Uh... Wait. I... Yeah, go to Hope Tech. Right? Oh. Did I go to the wrong Contact Charlie Three? That's you. Charlie Three. Hi. I got some information for you. Uh nice to meet you. Bye, Charlie Three. Hi. Just doing my daily paying it forward. Avoid the Altair system. Back big time. Okay. Okay. Big's going down there, and all of us no skin in the game. This we just give it a wide berth. I'm really bad at space combat, so. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> sure thing. Now, uh, I need Vlad. Man, those grab drives pulling up or whatever they're doing sound horrible. Yep, sure thing, bud. Do -do -do. Thanks. 
Look, I scanned too. Look, a giant bug. You'd think that, uh... you think that a place that dealt with drives would be a, a space station where they could easily work on spaceships. I can't imagine slinging around giant chunks of spaceship. I don't want to hear anything. It's hardly believe it. It's great to see you. How is Ma? Keep an eye on your value. Same as usual, you except now all she own. does is goes on and on here. about how her youngest yes. has made it. Tells everyone you met the Ron Hope. I mean, Ron Hope. Excuse me, excuse me. A little desperate here. This is such a long shot. What do you need? All right, Adela. Deep breath. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Right. Whoa. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Where to start? So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. Just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? Every moment of every day. You get it then. So I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel. Okay. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy spacers free star security the works everyone demanding i power down hand over the contraband or sometimes just firing first i skipped the system ditched the cargo and have been running ever since okay it gets even worse a tracker just landed and i just know he's hunting a bounty me but the trick is everyone knows the ship but my info isn't in the database yet all they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, fine. You are the best. This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. Howdy. Howdy. We be dust except for the factory. Yeah, that lets you know that I'm dripping with weapons. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hope Tech needs brave new innovations. We're so much more than space freight. Sure, that sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think you could spare some time. Oh, you should have just said that. <laughs> we just started a conversation. I never sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. Okay. So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grab drive that looks like it could be compatible. Okay. It's some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours? Sure. 40,000 credits. Let's try persuade. It's a pretty big ask, given how rare these old grab drives are.
Um. As much oh. as I'd love to, I just don't know if I can afford to take a loss on this. Again, I'm sorry. True, I keep telling myself I'm holding on to it for the right time. Perhaps this is that right time. Perhaps it is. Dang it. doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> and really, do I want everyone to know that they can sweet talk me out of my fees? No, thank you. You know, I have to make a living too. And Hope Tech can't just give away parts for free. Sorry, but I've got to charge you the same price as oh, everyone else. Oh, it's so much money, though. You're done, right it is. I'll get to work on it right away. I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you. Oh, my money. Oh, my money. <laughs> I mean, I could have safe scummed it and tried again, but that's okay. All right, now let's uh. Let's keep it holstered. You'll get along fine. <clears throat> what you got for sealing here? Some rules. If there's one place there's some law and order in this town, it's here. Okay. Don't even think about stealing anything. I... No haggling. The price is the price. And might be some other rules. Don't be an ass. Why are you so angry at me? I didn't start this way. Got myself robbed a few times. Swindled a couple. So now I look out for number one. And it's not like there's anywhere else on this rock to buy weapons. You may be thinking this place is a dump. But the hardware is I don't care what your Lots store looks like. Pass through. Just we sell got to me. Something for everyone. Music to my ears. <laughs> Why is everybody so mean to me? Assassin's calibrated maelstrom. Long barrel suppressor. Tactical grip. Armor piercing rounds. I want this. How much money do I still have left? Oh, I still have 35,000 credits. Wow, I had a lot of money. I want this. Ugh. 11, 11, though, is not a lot of, you know, but it's suppressed. It's long barreled. Oh, but it doesn't have a scope. There is that problem. I less want, I mean, I want it, but also, uh, Assassin's Calibrated. I don't think it's as good as what I've got. Unfortunately. Oh, here we go. Uh, reflex sight, muzzle break. Eh. Oh. Ooh. I like. We got a rifle. It's got a scope. Does 36 damage. Oh, look it. Look it. We got another one. Uh, incendiary. Randomly deals incendiary damage. Laser sight. Arm piercing rounds. Hair trigger. A stealth. <laughs> stealth lasers. <laughs> Forty damage. Okay, I'm 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 buying this. Okay, this is this is mine. This is mine now. Okay, uh, ammo. It took um nine nine x nine. Thanks. Uh, also, while I'm here, um. Let me give that. 
And I need this Ultra Mag. I just spent a lot of money, but... But... Oh, I should probably read that, um... It's a note. I understand. Uh, it's... Her note is slag. What? What's the deal with the slag? Why is the uh, slag bad? Rangers. Where's the... I'm sorry. Where's... Where does she want me to meet these people? Oh, I thought that was part of the other building. As dives go, this place ain't bad. I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? <laughs> Why are you not looking What's at me? Name, stranger? <laughs> I'd buy you a drink. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Marka. I'm over here, buddy. I bet you didn't know it. I'm a tracker, and I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You're still not really looking at me. You know the drill. There you go. Uh. Bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies meant for orphans or something. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment in sight unseen. I figure they're in the market. Hmm. I don't deal with smugglers and no-good types. What I do, but more violent like. My words, my bond. So you didn't shoot your way off me, Aunt Fahim? Ooh. The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Maybe. Maybe not. Wait. <laughs> okay. I can tell you're up to something. But what? I'm not buying it. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, this guy is not gonna believe me at all. The bounty Wait, that is one worked. Large for what they're saying. All right, I'm not taking you in. But that just means somebody else will. Whatever you were shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I feel like maybe she wasn't shipping slag like she thought. <laughs> There's no way they're ever going to settle for that. Ah, sucks to be you. One more drink and it's lift off. Okay. So She's wanted for shooting her way off the planet with medical supplies. Why did I ever take this? I feel sick. I mean, maybe. At my sixth birthday, the theme was unicorns. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. Uh, let's see. You think? I mean, of course they will. Oh, God. I don't mean to be ungrateful and all, but I really, really need to go. Thank you.
Oh, man. <laughs> I kind of want to put a bullet in her. Okay, I Hello. have to go. Like, now. Since the tracker's on world, I'm sure he's got eyes. Ron Hope's a damned hero in my book. I <laughs> mean, I do bounties. Uh, anyways, that was a weird one. I kind of, I kind of want to keep going. I want to know what she smuggled. I want to know what it was. And now we'll never know. All right, let's get back to uh, our first contact here. I need bigger tanks on my ship. Welcome to the Free Star Collective. Please maintain your current course. Yeah, I have no contraband. Unless somebody smuggled some on board. And that's it. Thanks. I'm still not staying at Neon. I know you really want me to. But I'm not doing it. I gotta go, I gotta explain to those people that, uh, I made the decision for him. <laughs> we'll zoom in a bit. Boost into a dock. Let's see what they think of this. Just stay out. Listen, I don't know why everybody thinks that I'm causing trouble. Uh, you know, minus the fact that I'm covered in weapons. How do we know what's out there? Things are going to be more interesting. We've got strict rules around here. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down trouble. Your captain. No matter, we didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Okay. Safe travels to you. She didn't want to talk to me at all. That's unexpected. I kind of thought I would have to make a deal. Like, uh... now that we know what's out there, things are going to be more interesting from here on out. Yeah, I guess we'll go talk to engineering dude here. Wow, I've, I've heard about you, but here you are. I can't tell you how many times I've had to make do with inelegant solutions to complex technical problems. Well, good. Talk to me. If the other colonists knew how many times the constant almost came apart at the... What grad's right? <laughs> <sighs> Just joking with you. The Paradiso <laughs> engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right. This will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. <laughs> no explosions in the process. I just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? Great, great, great. There are three preparations I need okay. to help me make while I set things up on my end. 
first thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. I'm not an engineer. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Okay, 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Um, I've already forgotten. Uh, okay. Uh, port turbo pump to auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Plasma runoff inhibitor to 5% and decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Turbo pump. This is where I blow up your ship. Uh, you know what? It'd be a good idea to save the game before I blow up the ship. Okay. Um... At least a port turbo pump. <laughs> oh. Uh, cryo pump port, turbo pump port. Reroute power to, uh, auxiliary. <laughs> nope. What am I doing again? Port turbo pump to auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Okay. Then the plasma runoff inhibitor. 5% and then decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Okay. Step one. Uh, from the tur port turbo pump to the wrap. I've forgotten again. Turbo pump to <laughs> auxiliary cryogenic radiator okay got this got this port turbo bump to auxiliary cryogenic radiator done okay next sure it's nice to know there are other people out there uh uh Five percent. Okay, and then we gotta check this one more time here. Plasma runoff inhibitor five percent. I did that. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. The magnetic flange enclosures. Decouple the magnetic flange from the auxiliary shoot. Listen, these are hard words for me to remember for some reason. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Okay. From the auxiliary module assembly. 
decouple. Oh, no, no, sorry. Uh, decouple the. I didn't realize it was going to work like that. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures. Okay. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosure from the auxiliary module assembly. Looks like everything is good to go. Both good. <laughs> because I hurt my brain. Yep. I will try. Oh, she is in her office now. We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Well, well, it would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck, but you went above and beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again. Fun. Okay, she gave me a bunch of stuff. But one of them was a gun. Ooh. Look at that guy. Dang, I just bought all that auto mag. Ugh. Well, you know what? I'm I'm never gonna Just I'm stay out of trouble. I'm never gonna swing my sword at someone, I I say. Um What was that? What was that? I was just kidding. <laughs> I was just kidding. All right, well, I really do want to go check out that, uh, oh. No. Oh, no. I don't... No. No. Great. How many more days? Months? Years of being cooped up here. Always worried. I just... is a peaceful ship. I'm trying not to. I just want to know how to get out of this place. What now? Janet wants something too. We were never trained to address threats. Listen, I don't know if I'm coming back to help you people. This is. Uh, I I gave you the means to get out of here. Okay. I'm gone. I'm gone. I might come back. I don't know. I do like to do quests. 
but woof, man. Okay, so did that complete my mission? No. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, okay. So I want to do this one. But that'll be for next time. So with that, be bearing small things, leave the light, and I will talk to you later.